Hello everyone, Wanjo here, and welcome back to the Tao Sin campaign for Mortal Empires. Now as you can see, we're starting today's episode off with the Siege Assault of Buyan, as I need to eliminate that settlement as quickly as we can, because then that will really put Carcassonne on the back foot. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have a bit of a tough fight, especially once we've taken the walls, because there's so many knights... Given the fact that we are fighting Petonia, it's a given. But we also got several things of things like Grail Knights somewhere around here. We also got a Donna Don Domenico up here. We got John Telwitz somewhere around here. A Paladin who seems to be... Okay, he's on the ground at least. But we also got two units of Pegasus Knights. So it's going to be a bit of a tough fight. Now what we need to do first of all is take the walls, which is where my Eternal Guard have been sent off to do. We're going to send in a second wave afterwards, consisting of my Wildwood Rangers and my War Dancers. And we're going to keep the Archers back, because I want them to climb up on the walls and start blasting every single Knight unit down on the ground here with their arrows. So we're going to try and hold them back, and while we're doing that as well, we do have access to an ability, Thou's Hammer, which is unique to Dieth. This will allow us to attack basically units up on the wall and damage it you know, towers, the walls itself. It has the potential to do a lot if we're right with it. But for the moment, all we can do is just weather the storm of arrows heading our way. And you can see we are taking casualties, a bit of health here and there. Unfortunately, we haven't got the white spell singer to actually heal up. We've got one which is going to be quite capable once we get onto the walls. But for the moment, she can't do much. But all we can do is just get them running. Let's get die after one a little bit faster. And we need to make sure then that everybody's going to be climbing up. Now to help out, let's activate this. Now, we need to actually target a unit. We can't just target the wall. It doesn't quite work like that. But if we go... I think there was actually a unit here. One second. Peasant Bowman. Let's just get them to target here then. Come on. Alright, let's get you guys up on here again. Just give them a push to remind them. Sometimes it gets stuck if you're not careful. So that should be getting everybody up there. And once they start again up, we'll get my war dancers to start making their way over here as well. Alright, Wildwood Rangers, we can get you guys in fact to climb up here straight away. Maybe I should have done that straight away with hindsight. No matter. But now Diaphus on the wall. It's time for you now to store to some bowmen. In fact, there is a character over here, Paladin, Samuel Denard. We'll have you eventually make your way over there and kill them, but for now, just make your way into the nice big group of enemies here, in fact. That will do nicely. Right, now you guys again attacked. Let's make sure we use... Which one was it again? Damage resistance. It will help a little bit, so may as well use it. Let's have you guys continue the push. In fact, you can go after the Foot Squires. That will help things out quite a bit there. And then you guys can come up onto here. We are taking some damage from the floor just because we have mounted yeoman archers. There's not really a lot we can do about that right away. But I'm quite happy to let them just continue doing their job. Alright, we get you guys then. Alright, nice big blob. Let's get you guys over here to support. And let's make sure, by the way... Everybody's on guard mode. The last thing I kind of want is to have it so people are just running around onto the ground and then kind of charged up by their knights. So let's give them a second and then... Come on. Let's get you guys up here. And in fact, you guys can run up here. That should help out a little bit and stop us getting shot to death. Alright, and then you guys are making your way here. That's all fine and dandy. Is there anything over here that isn't white? Just wondering if it's worth me sending a unit to capture the gates over here. Nah, that'll be fine. We can focus on taking this area here completely. And then we can make sure then to bring our archers up to start firing in. In fact, why should we not just get started with that now? Although, hang on. Donna Don Domingo, you're on your way. Alright, Diaf. Looks like I've got a target for you. Come over here, please. Nope, he's doing a runner. Okay. Continue over here then and fight them. Boost up everybody nearby just to help out a bit. Then you guys continue fighting over here, please. Right. War dancers. 
It's not time for you to go to town. Alright, let's activate this one more time. Just do it on here. Two. One. It looks impressive. It really doesn't feel impressive. <laughs> right, let's get you guys up onto here. If we can get them onto the walls here now, that will allow us to start firing into their position. We'll get you to come up here as well. And you to come up here too. And then let's get... To be honest, there's not really much I can do with these guys. Once we, we just need to slaughter these guys first of all. Alright, let's get you to kill me that paladin. You should be easily able to do that for me, Dyeth. Alright, and then you guys continue to push through into here. They are peasant bowmen. This shouldn't be any trouble for my troops. But there we go, we've got one unit already starting to retreat. That's fine. Alright, we'll get you guys up onto the walls here. Again, we've got Knights of the Realm down here. We want them to target really units like the uh, Grail Knights and that, that I'm sure are somewhere around. We've got a host right here. Let me just double check. Knights of the Realm, Knights Errant. Ah, here we are, Grail Knights. So we've got Grail Knights, two units of Pegasus Knights. We've got Don, Don Domingo as well. Raphael Dufort, which is a John Tailwield, and some men at arms. And of course the Yeoman. The Yeoman have run out of ammunition now, so we can just focus on slaughtering the infantry up on the walls here. Let's get the war dancers to push forward a bit. If possible. You guys focus on killing these. And if we've finished capturing that, let's get in my units of the Wild Riders even, to go and kill off these units that are trying to escape the map. It just says us have to worry about them coming back. I mean, they are peasants. Nothing really for me to worry about. But, better safe than sorry, eh? Alright, let's get you guys now to continue pushing through into them from this flank. Especially as they're boarding reinforcements from here. Alright, now one thing that has worked out quite nicely for us is that the standing army that was inside the settlement, not the garrison, but the army led by Sir John Tailworld, was actually in force march when we started the assault. That's why we've got units like the Knights of the Realm host here starting off very tired. So that's something we can use to our advantage. Not only that, but we do have things like the upgraded version of the Pendulum, which is going to be fantastic against units like here, when we've got knights all squashed up together. And we have to be careful she doesn't miscast and affect her. But when you can see the amount of devastation we've just cast done to these knights, until we get on the ground, there's not a single thing that all these knights can do. Pegasus knights a different matter, but that's for them to sort out. You guys come over here. Let's get... Let's get you debuffing them all. Alright, and then we had another unit over here, didn't we? Who we were exhausted. Let's get you guys to be more aggressive. Let's get you to continue killing off Samuel. Alright, we just need to wait for these guys to die, really. Alright. Wild Red Rangers. Let's get over here now. Archers. Okay, archers are pretty much all in position now. Just waiting for them to finish uh, getting there. And then we can just sort of let loose, put them into fire at will and go from there. Uh, just don't go down on the ground like I think you're about to. Don't. Alright, you guys come here, you guys come here. I'm going to have to tell them to do this myself, aren't I? Alright. Okay, you guys come here, in fact. Alright, Hagbane tips are ready to go. Nyaf, let's get you ready. Okay, is there a point to use this against somebody? Fire on him. Not that I think it's going to do much. In fact, that barely did anything. But still, at least there was something done. Right, what we could do, in fact, is get that targeted, then you guys come off onto here, you, you're already on fire, Will, but now, just look at the devastation we're unleashing on them, and let's activate that for the bonus, alright, let's give that for the armor piercing, continue doing your job here, alright, we got you guys, come and chase these down, you guys chase these, 
We just have to be a bit careful because the towers are firing down on them as well. And the last thing we want is for my own troops to take friendly fire. But wow, we just devastated that entire unit. Absolutely madness. Right. Looks like now they, they're targeting the Pegasus Riders, which is fantastic. If they're willing to stay there, then I'm willing to let them die. Right. What are you guys firing at? Okay, you're firing at the Knights of the Realm hosts. That's fine by me. Let's do some more damage, especially if they're going to bunch up again like that for me. Let them loose. Wow, those Knights of the Worm are really taking some damage. I love it. Alright, that's one unit of Yeoman already retreating. Okay, let's get... What's going on with this unit here? They can't make up their mind. Okay. Come over there and kill these guys. In fact, go and kill off the Paladin. So I just have to deal with him myself. Alright, you... What can you fire at? To be honest, men at arms and shields is not really a hard target. Let's get you to move to the front line a bit. Come on. Okay, maybe not. Alright, facts. Can you guys focus on these? You were doing a good job then. We nearly killed off this unit, in fact. Focus on killing those off for me. Alright, let's activate another one of these. I mean, I would like to try and aim for these guys. In fact, Grand Knights have taken a lot of damage. Let's kill them off again. Still got 86 power of magic, of reserve. That's fantastic. Crazy, but fantastic. Alright, that unit's about to die. Have we finished up on here? We have, right. We've just got a few isolated units here and there. Okay, I'm going to try and keep some of these guys alive. So, for example, if anyone that's particularly weak, like maybe these guys and the war dancers, I think we're going to send them back. We don't want, we can get them to retreat off the map, but it's not going to cause us any issues. We do have to go and kill off the foot squires. So let's send Dyeth down here. He should be able to finish those off easily enough. And who actually owns the gate? Carcassonne still does, okay. Let's just activate this. He can go and have some fun. Even if the omen come to attack, that's fine. Uh, Knights of the Realm hosts could be a little bit more problematic. Right. Okay, can't overcast us yet. I mean, we don't have to, but it does more armor piercing damage when you do. So, let's let you guys chase these guys down. In fact, come over here, all you. Just finish them off. And then, I suppose we can start bringing in the troops down. You have to be a bit careful. I don't want them getting charged. But they do have, like, it's only yeoman really to worry about. So, yeah, let's get the troops down. Alright, turn our guard. Come down here and attack. Fad, while we're the rangers, you guys can come and focus on these. And you guys can come and focus on the knights. Alright, so you guys come over this way. You guys come over here. Alright, you guys come and kill these. Ah, oh, damn. You're going to take some damage just because they are knights after all. They've just charged into a lightly armoured unit here. Alright, let's get you guys to come down here and then you can attack. As my war dancers, let's get you guys to come down here as well. Alright, the armour piercing values of my spears should be enough to help out against the foot squires too. Let's boost up that a bit. How are you guys doing, anyway? Okay, looks like you've managed to kill off that entire unit of Pegasi. Right, let's have you now focus on these. Okay, wrong units, but still, take it. Okay, I'll... when did you use your other arrow of Kurnos? Interesting. Okay, let's get another one of these. Right, victory now is within our grasp. That's what I want to hear. And that's the advantage. We've been playing this nice and slow. We've been making sure that we do things properly. And it's worked out quite well for us. So, 
Might as well just continue with the progress bits. We just need to start getting ourselves into position here, really. Okay, let the Pegasus Riders f die. These guys already used up ammunition, and so have these guys. Let's let you two finish off these. These are starting to retreat. Okay. Well, let's just get things ready to receive. Because if we're going to have them come in to attack us, I'd rather make sure my troops are able to defend against the charge. So let's get you guys over to here. You guys can make your way over to here. Or even better yet, just make your way across to here. Then you guys can make your way up to here. Diaf, let's get you in position ready to help out. Okay. These guys are about to thing, okay. Can we boost up? Just do some damage against the Night Errors. Now what's helped is that everybody's starting to retreat. Their morale, you can see, is going down. So it won't be too long. I mean, we could just get everybody to move forwards at this point. Yeah, let's just get everybody moving forward. I expected a bit it's like of a final charge, and instead we've just got... People are slowly coming out of their way to die, so... Right, let's get you guys to come and attack these. Don't even have to run, you can walk as far as I'm concerned. Let's get you guys to come over here. Diaf can come forward and attack him. Alright, Waystalkers... Focus on him. And then we'll make sure to use the Ephebling Foe on a right character. I think Donna here is going to be a good choice. Stop his ability to attack. Okay, you guys kill him off. Okay, Diaf. Start going on your way. Alright, you come and attack these guys. Okay, you come and attack these. Okay, Knights of the Wild Riders. Come and attack these as well, and you guys can make your way around this way and attack. And it's just a case, really, of waiting. Speed it up a little bit at this point. There's not really much we can do. They are surrounded, they're about to break. And. Victory. There we go. Alright, and the battle? Apparently, a close victory, but. I disagree a little bit with that. Let's head back to the campaign map, tally up the losses, and um, see how well they actually did. So, one close victory, but I think we did much better than that, in my honest opinion. But never mind, we'll take it. We managed to wipe out quite a powerful army as well. I mean, look at all these gold chevron units that we were able to wipe out. And you can see from the kills underneath... That a lot of these knights didn't even get to do much in the fights. Most of the casualties actually came from either the garrison or from the wall, from the towers, I mean. So, yeah, Batonians do have some problems when it comes to doing sieges, although that's something I'm going to have to uh, remind myself about in a future campaign I've got planned. But for now, though, let's click this. Now, it is a, I believe it's a tier 3 settlement, so I'm going to burn it down. Because I don't need to have a tier 3 settlement or even a tier 2 because it's going to cost me amber. So let's just let you do that and we'll come back and recolonize. Now the thing is, even though we've taken out their remaining capital, they have no more settlements anywhere in Betonia. If I remember right though, if we check on the diplomacy screen, Carcassonne still got about 3 or 4 territories somewhere in the world. Yeah, here they are, four territories, but I have no idea. Oh, apart from Quillis. Okay, fair enough, Quillis. Oh, I forgot they took it, didn't they? Yeah. But that still means somewhere in the world they have three territories, and I have no idea where. It'd be interesting to find out eventually. But we'll take back Beyond, start recolonizing, and then we head over here. Really, we want to do it before Middleland get any ideas about trying to take it. So, yeah. Let's just come back to that next turn. Everybody else, though, don't forget, have already moved. So let's just assign the skills. This should be pretty straightforward at this point. Baha, oh Christ, what am I going to give you? 
Let's give you more armor. Can never heard for a war dancer to have more armor. Durfu? Alright, now Durfu I am kind of stuck with. <laughs> let's give... In fact, yeah. Let, no, let's go for House of the Forest. Get that combat bonus. Alright, next we got Dryker. I think in the future I might skip out on some of these, unless there's any particular cool skills or unique skills to get, which uh, I might not have spoken about before. Because at this point, this is happening so often. We've got so many characters. We just spend the, a lot of time just going through it all, all the time. It might be better for me to skip them out in future videos. Thing, I'll have to think about it. Alright, Arda. You haven't finished all your magic yet, so you can have regrowth. Okay, Milana, did you finish? I did. I actually finish off all of these. No, we could go for the Wivwen. Or well, to be honest, I'd rather let's go for the Shades. Let's do some big damage now. Uh, let's go slippery for you, so we can give you one of the dances later. Nafal, let's give you some combat ability. Let's go tempered rigor. And then we have the choice, of course, to upgrade all these different settlements, which we don't need to do. There we go. So, as a bit of um, a treat for you guys, as it is Saturday, next week I'm going to be starting a new Total War series. I'm going to be doing Warhammer still, because there's still a lot of both factions I would like to do. But there was a faction I've always wanted to come back and redo, and that was Bretonia. Now, Bretonia, last time I played them, if you guys have checked it out, is when I played as Kuyan. Well, back then when it was just Bretonia. I played with uh, Leonka as my faction leader, and we did a lot of good with that faction. But... That was before the updates that came out. So with you know with the vows for the knights and the the knife vow, the grail vow, and the things you can choose to try and get them. So and other bonuses as well. So I've always wanted to come back and redo the Batonians, but the problem was since I've already done Batonia as a faction with Koryan, it's a bit hard for me to come back and play as the Fae Enchantress or Bordelow because they basically take place in the same area of the world. We would have had to do the same thing again. Now, the fact that we have the Chevaliers of Leoness down in the Southlands, down where, in, you know, Nehekaran is, would have been an interesting position, especially with the mechanics like allowing them to go into desert territory as long as they have the water and things. But of course, when that faction came out, loads of YouTubers were doing them. So what I've noticed on Steam Workshop, and now I've actually come back to this, there's a faction that someone's created called Brigon, which is actually situated in Lustria. And the mod creator's done a good job from what I have looked through in order to create some unique units, like he's got dismounted knights. And a big part of the faction, which is going to be quite interesting and makes sense when you consider the lore, is that they don't have a lot of mounted troops because they are a small faction that have come to Lustria and horses, funny enough, are just not that good when it comes to the trees and jungles. So I'm thinking about starting a faction for that, I mean a campaign for that. So if I do do it, it's going to be on probably Tuesdays and Fridays. So I'll be playing alongside then the Knights of Avalon campaign I'm doing. But I'm looking forward to giving it a go. I think it could be interesting, especially as we haven't done a lot in Lustria. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go. But I need to put together my little intro video and outro videos. But yeah, I think it could be a good campaign. And you guys get to hear it first. Now Austin Mark have asked for a defensive alliance and they want 10,000 gold. Now don't get me wrong, we can easily afford it, but do I really want to give them 10,000? Nah, we don't need to. <laughs> we are one of the most powerful factions in the game right now, so if they want a defensive alliance, 
I am quite happy to give it to them, but I'm not paying them for the privilege of having a alliance with me. That just doesn't work like that. We are the king of the woods, goddammit, the avatar of Kurnos. There is no way we're going to pay that much to a bunch of humans. Okay then guys, here we are. So Torrenbar has decided to try and attack Nye of the Prophetess. Didn't work out for him. And we've now got... Oh, the Wild Hunt has now rested. Oh, that's a shame for Zaltafios. And now Skaven have turned up at the Phoenix Gate. That's not good news, really, if you go by the law, because one of the big things about Ulfon, apart from the fact that it's on an island, so having the underway in that doesn't make much sense. But I believe it's supposed to be quite um, almost pure in terms of like the land. Which, uh, maybe I could be wrong, but Skaven would be quite uncomfortable with being there, I reckon. So even the fact that we have Skaven here at the Phoenix Gate, here in fact, probably not good news to have. Anyway. Let's get on to here. Now, we've got a couple of things to move around. And before we finish the episode, I do want to fight the quest battle for the Cloak of Isha with Orion. So, we'll definitely get on to that. But let's sort this out. Now, we'd lost, it seems, at Slaver's Point because Crone Helebron has brought in an army from Nagorand. Now, do I want to declare war on Nagorand yet? I mean, we are much more powerful than they are. Much more powerful. It could make sense. We're up here to kill everybody, so why not go after them too? Um, let's have a look. Do I want to bring Satyphios in as reinforcements? I think we can. Yeah, let's do this and declare war. Why not? We'll bring in our vassals as well, just because why not at this point? And I do have a black arc nearby. Alright, well, let's encircle. Notice the big chaos star right down there. Let's bring you guys in as reinforcements. Alright, and Slaver's Point, it is a tier 2 settlement, so if we take it, that will just make it a tier 1 settlement. Yeah, so we want to just come in and do this. Balance bar, very much in my favour. Time to do that. Kill them all off, decisive victory, including Clone Hedobarn, which means we should now have a trait for defeating her. Once we pop through, here we are. The day after. The trouble with Knights of Debauchery always comes the day after. Not so much hungover as hanged. So for defeating Hellebron, we've got plus 20 armor piercing damage and plus 5 melee attack for Durfu. That's a very good trait to have. Excellent. Alright, we're now defeated him. Now, we do have the potential with Zatophios to come out and attack the Black Ark. Oh my god, really? I expected it to be a little bit better, especially if we had the Garrison and Durfu turning up, but maybe it doesn't quite work like that? Let's put you in here for the moment then, and let these guys replenish. Hegria can continue on her journey up to here. So far we still haven't spotted any presence of High Elves down here in Lustria, which is good. So he's been having to chase him down. Orion we're going to come and deal with shortly. But let's get... No, you have walls. We don't need to do you just yet. Alright, let's get... Let's get Defenses of Hag... No, we don't need Defenses of Hag Hall. Let's go for Sacrificial Grounds for the bonus. Here, though, we can do a garrison. Just because of its closeness to the Plains of Dog. And Dryker next turn can go after them anyway. And likewise with Carivion. We'll go after Val's Anvil shortly. Dyeth has known got to move. Zatophias has moved. Nyeth the Prophetess though. Would it be worth us trying to chase down Elidiao? Although to be fair, we have taken nearly all of their land along the coast. It's really not that big a deal for us. Yeah, we'll have her continue in the push through and then towards the circle of destruction. Finding pathways. Hopefully Hexato ain't gonna mind too much if we trespass in their territory. We we'll also have to be a bit careful then as we are in Force March next to them. But that's fine. Okay now, Orion, time for you to do your thing. So let's go to Cloak Now for this battle we are fighting as you can see Wood Elves. 
from the cult of seduction. But my troops are so experienced at this point, this should be a pretty easy fight for us. And the extra amber we're potentially going to get means next turn, once we take Bowser and Villanut and we colonize beyond, is going to mean that we can actually upgrade the Yoke of Ages. In fact, we won't be able to do it once we fought this battle. But for now, let's teleport. And fight the battle. This naive and foolish Grave Lord has allowed his mind to be poisoned by the Prince of Pleasure. The Dreaming Woods are a forbidden place of great malice and deception. And in his folly, our erstwhile brother has been twisted by the dark deeds within. There can be no further mercy. As I am born from Kurnos' spirit, so shall these dark servants be purged by it. Let them face the rage of the forest! Wow. Some strong words there. Especially if you actually saw the mission briefing as we were on the loading screen. When you're using words like purge and stuff like that, it sends a message. Definitely does. Now we do know that the enemy's got a few gla Glade Riders with Hagbane tips, so we're going to be dealing with poison damage. But as long as we keep our formation close, we should be okay. Let's get you guys together on my front line, as always. Alright, let's prefer not to keep you guys running away anytime soon. Let's get you guys then ready to fire. Why do I have... Oh, right, the Arrows of Kurnos. They stayed with us for some, quite some time. It's just what wondering to me, why do I have a st standard unit of Glade Guard there? Now I know. Alright, let's get you guys up on the flank. In fact, let's get you guys over here to do some damage. Right, you of course can stay over here with your war dancers, the dancers of Loek. Ryan of course is going to be on the front line as always. Delina can be back here, ready to do some damage. Solas. We'll have you here to boost up my infantry, and then you guys can form up over here. Right. Now the thing is, if I remember right, we may end up having some enemy reinforcements to deal with, and it's not going to be the pleasant type. It did warn in the briefing that it could even potentially be something to do with, like, um, something not elven. So it could be chaos troops or something like that, potentially. Let's activate this right here. Give it by doing it here. We've got plenty of chance now for it to activate. There we go. Perfect. My right, archers are starting to blast away. That's good. That's what I want to see. Let's get the bow of Lauren to do uh, quite a bit of damage. I want to try and target it just right so we can actually hit a few of them. That might have been a bit too bad though. Let's act. Activate that first of all with you. And then Quayvan if we may see if we can pin up with him. I mean, don't forget, Orion is fantastically fast. He's how fast is he again? 128. He's like one of the fastest things in this bloody game. There's no way he'd be anything. Oh, I have 54% charge bonus. <laughs> okay. Let's hunt me a Glade Lord. You can activate that for me. Let's get Delina then to use her own Dwellers below in order to cast it here. Looks like we're doing a ton of damage over there already. We stopped these guys in their tracks. Let's have you guys shoot these. You guys see if I'm coming over here to attack these. You guys make your way over here because we're going to have them potentially go and attack the any Glade Guard that's sitting around. But you guys can focus on here. You guys... Kill me of these. Fat. That's going to be faster. 90, 102. Oh yeah, those Glade Riders are not going to be able to get away from my... <laughs> from my Wild Riders, even. That's better. Okay, Colonel, so let's get you turned around. And let's go to town with your... Maybe not those abilities. But let's activate that. Activate that. Let's give an Awakening of the Woods. 
if they're gonna stay clumped together like this, we might as well take advantage and just blast them to smithereens. Right. Oh crap, archers, archers, archers. I forgot to keep you guys in guard mode. Get your butts back here, please. Okay, Ryan, come and say hello. Oh wow, look at this. We just decimated all of them. They didn't even have a chance in this fight. They really didn't. Right, let's get you guys coming forward now to help support. So Ryan's coming in to give, say hello. He's going to show them why he should be not messing with your king. Let's get you guys to come around here, Ned. You two. Let's get you up to here. Could I actually get these guys to charge forward and attack these. Um, Let's get you. Focus that on the Glade Rider Guard here. Right, how are you guys doing? You've pinned him. These guys are going to get caught any second now. That's fine. Let's get you guys to come and chase these down. Alright. Arda, let's just boost up my healing here. Right, you continue boasting up here. Let's get... Just tick that down here. And then let's get a Ryan to come over here. Attack! You guys come and kill these. You guys come and kill these. Alright. Let's increase everybody's speed nearby. Orion! And then here comes bad boy Orion. I would not want to be that glade guard right now. Oh Christ, I wouldn't want to be uh, Orion getting shot at like that. Okay, you guys stop firing. I don't want you killing your king by accident here. Right, you guys finish off here. Arda, heal up these. Right, let's get you guys to come and chase these down. You guys come and take these. You're finishing off here. You're dealing with these. And Bahara's just going to town over here. Let's give you even more speed. And some armor piercing damage. Right, and now we got uh, the big deal. Going. Oh, hang on. In the heat of battle, your enemies fall down without warning, and suddenly chaos spawn of pulling forth. Say what now? Oh well, it's a bad day to be a chaos spawn, in my opinion. Let's get you guys to come over here, and then you guys can come and support your king. Where's the other units? Because we're gonna have to pull these back if we're not careful. Okay, you guys are losing decisively to these. Let's make sure to use that. Skywatchers, continue focusing on killing off these. You guys, let's pull the Riders of Kurnos back. We don't need them to take damage for me. Let's get you guys back here. Alright, how are you doing? You're actually doing reasonably well. Fair enough. Right. Yeah, let's get... You guys continue focusing on these. You two can just make your way back over here. Right, let's get you to heal up all of these. Orion is just going to town on these. No problem at all. Alright, let's just boost up your combat abilities. Let's grab... Pin them in place. Just get you guys to go to town and shoot them to death. Do that as well. Okay, let's get you to do this. You to come over and provide support. Alright, because yeah, if my dancers are low, I could not do it as well as I was hoping. Let's give them some armor piercing damage. I mean, they killed off a unit easily. It's just the fact they're getting swamped a bit now by these multiple ones. Okay, archers, time for you to head forward now and attack these. You guys, come over here and support them here. Right, you guys come over here and kill these. You two come over here and support Baha. Orion is going to finish off these. And then you can come forward and attack these. Right, let's activate Whirl and Death for you now. Let's get Regrowth happening on here. Fact, might as well. Yeah, get that happening just to him. To her. Right, activate that on here. 
Oh wow, for, didn't realize we gave Delina the tormented uh, sword. So she's able to give debuffs now to everybody nearby. Forgot completely about that. Alright, let's make sure we provide some help then. So you're going to come over here. Alright, and Delina's job now is to debuff all of these. So now they've got a melee attack of six. Alright, let's boost up the healing potential here. Let's give you guys some armor. Give everybody some combat abilities. And then do this. This. And this. Right, and then just watch them get slaughtered. I mean, it's not even a fair fight, to be honest. Might as well just fast forward it. Just watching again swamped by all the sky watchers. Okay, 200 health. Do they regenerate? Well, they would have, but yeah, that's a win to us. Well, that fight was a lot easier than I thought. I just looked over the kills from over here, and if you add them up, there's like, what, 9, 10, 14, 23, 27... And that's it. 27 kills from this. Obviously, I don't know how much the Chaos Spawn did, but I wonder how much of this might be from Friendly Fire again. Now, we could actually just go ahead with Plenish straight away. And now we picked up our new shiny Cloak of Isha. Thank you. And we can still move. Wow. In that case, since we're pretty much back up to full strength now, Let's just get him to attack Val's Anvil. It's not a major settlement, is it? No, it's just a minor one. It's got walls. Okay. But even then, we can just march in and take it. I'm not even that impressed with the garrison. Eliriel is leading the force. But... That was easy. <laughs> right, let's just do this. Burn it down to the ground again. Don't worry, I'm going to, of course, recolonize. Might as well just get the extra amber then ne from next turn. In fact, you can't you just come over here and recolonize it right now? There we go. Alright, so we've got 39 amber now. We just need one more point, and then we'll be able to upgrade the Oak of Ages. So, in fact, let's go back to Dyer for a moment. Now, obviously, they still want to come over and take back Quillis. Right, but they're not going anywhere right now, so let's come back here. Colonize Brion. And now we've got our 40 Amber. So we'll get that rebuilt, and now we come to the Oak of Ages. Upgrade. It's going to take 10 turns, but look at those bonuses. That's going to help out massively. Now, of course, we've still got a long bit way to go. I mean, I can't remember. Does it stack? So even now we've got 40 here, do we need to find another 60 or another 100? Because that's going to take a long time still to do. But we need to do it if we're going to fight the final battle. But for now, we'll start the Oak of Ages. Let's just quickly do the upgrades. So Satyphios, two turns away from your dragon. Let's give you some extra armor for now. Alright, Arda. Regrowth it is. Alright. Well, Arian, let's give you that. Strathot, who are you with? Hegria. It's been things so far, just because we haven't actually had a chance to use the army effectively, because it's just been sailing around the whole time. Be good to actually try her out, though. Could die if. Oh, right, you're with this character. Hang on. When did I put you in this as a agent for this? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, let's give you the arrows of Kurnos. Right. Arnheim, of course. Why? This doesn't cost me amber, does it? So let's upgrade this. We'll go ahead and get Sacrificial Grounds. And then when it upgrades again, then we'll be able to get our hands on a better garrison. So that's that. Baha, what can we give you now at this point? 
some extra weapon damage won't do too bad, but upgrading our melee attack would be quite useful too. Let's go Violent Delights, because we only we're next time we can upgrade to Deadly Onslaught. That's going to help us out greatly. Right. Is there anyone else now I can try and get as military allies or something? The reason why I want a quick look is because, again, getting military allies will give me Amber. I mean, joining here, Oslin, for example, will give me seven. The only thing is, apparently they really don't want us to. But what happens if we give you 8,000 gold? Now, a good one to try and get our hands on would be someone like Kurian. Because having 31 regions will give me 31 amber. But they have been so reluctant to actually try and get anything with me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a huge sum of money. Right, because we can easily afford it. Alright, but someone like Reichland, what about you guys? Oh, you can't. Why? Because aren't you friends with Lothan? Oh, you're not. Unless I've missed it. No, you're not. So why can't I try and become allies with you? We're not at war with anyone. I mean, we're defensive allies, so by extension we should be able to get military alliance. But we're not at war with anyone that they are war with, are we? Tabaro. Is it Carcassonne, maybe? Yeah, Carcassonne, right. Okay. In fact, in that case, Carcassonne, whereabouts are you? Because I don't need to be at war with these guys. And yes, I know they got Quillis, but we can buy it back. So, they are willing to do this. And because I want Quillis back, let's find... I oh, know, will we be able to do it? No, because we need to have a positive relationship with them. Well, I'll tell you what, then. Have some money. Right. We've burned down a lot of your stuff, so the least we can do is give you something back. It might take a little while, though. Right. But yeah, I suppose we didn't really need Quillis. Okay, then, guys. I think at this point we can safely bring the episode to an end. But we've managed to get some good done. We've managed to defeat, well, Carcassonne and drive them to a ceasefire. We didn't need to, I guess. We could have continued wiping them out. But I like the Batonians, what can I say? But we also managed to get the quest battle done with Orion, so that's good. Now, during the end turn phase, we have actually encountered our first army from the Exiles of Nehek. So it'll be interesting to see how it looks like when we actually have to deal with these guys. But that's all going to be happening in the next episode. So for now, thank you very much for watching today's one. I hope you all enjoyed and that you do join me next time for some more Warhammer. Not just with the coming campaigns, but with the new ones starting next week. But until then, everybody, take care, stay safe, and goodbye for now.